Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Dame and welcome back to the Damon at Game channel. And today I've got a quick and easy tutorial guide for you guys of the brand new Easter egg that was just found in the frozen dome. We've been hunting this for a while and only last night we managed to solve this Easter egg and it actually involves the grenades that you float around the blood altar itself. So if you enjoyed this video and it helps you out in any sort of way, please be sure to leave a like, smash a thumbs up, that would be highly appreciated. And of course, subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna be uploading a lot of videos in the next couple of days, tutorials, guides, and tips and tricks for the Frozen Dawn DLC 4. But without further ado, let's get straight into that video. So this Easter egg can be done on solo. I do recommend going in with a couple of more players though, or preferably another player at least. You're also going to need equipped grenades, throwing knives, or sticky grenades. I'm not sure if you can use a C4, but the other three are just fine. And a grenade always comes in handy as well, though it is not needed. You're then gonna have to take yourself down into the flat tree and start the process of obtaining the scythe. You just press a square on the cabinet, the flames come up around you, they surround you, and you have to survive for a certain amount of time. Without doing this, part of the grenade step won't actually work, so you have to get the scythe. After you've obtained the scythe, you're then gonna have to run up to the ledge where there's a big red pool of blood, and on there you're gonna find yourself a bunch of candles. You now need to shoot four candles with one bullet each. You can see on screen right now which candles I am shooting. And after you've done this, this will spawn in a double points, a different colored double points around the blood pool itself. It will stay there for about seven seconds, then it will disappear and teleport somewhere else. It will always be in the same room, but you will only have a certain amount of time to actually hit it. Now, when I say hit it, you're gonna have to hit this with a particular type of grenade. Now, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but if you throw a grenade around that big pool of blood, it will actually change colors and keep spinning and spinning and spinning. Well, there are two different types or two different color types of double points that will spawn. One is going to be a green and one is going to be a purple. Now, if you notice when you throw the grenades around, you only get white, yellow, red, and blue. So what you have to do is actually mix these grenades and you can do so by throwing your first grenade, letting it spin around the pool until it's the correct color that you need to make green or purple. So for this instance, we're gonna use purple. You're going to need red and blue. When the grenade turns red, you are then gonna to need to hold square and you will pick up that grenade. Now the latest grenade in your grenade slot will be red. If you throw that grenade, it's going to be red this is where the second player comes in very handy it can be done solo but it's a lot more tricky if the second player then throws another grenade himself and allow it to keep spinning around a circle it will cycle through the colors it will go white yellow red then blue when you see the blue grenade start spinning around the actual circle is itself you want to throw your red grenade in the opposite direction they will collide in the middle and that will make a purple grenade you then need to pick up that grenade as fast as you can by pressing square and you will then be in your latest grenade slot. So the next time you throw a grenade, it will be purple. Again, if you're doing this and you have a green double points spawn, you are going to have to mix a blue grenade and a yellow grenade, which will give you a green grenade and you pick it up and you will have a green grenade. Now you have the purple grenade in your inventory. You're going to have to throw said grenade at the double points that keeps despawning and respawning round the actual blood pool itself. Now all you have to do literally is wait until it spawns, you get a good shot and throw your grenade directly at it and it will disappear and respawn somewhere else on the map. You're then gonna have to repeat this three times. So the next location for this to spawn is going to be in spawn. If you go up to spawn through the door on the left hand side by the broken down crashed blimp, that's going to be its never spawned location. And again, it's going to spawn in for seven seconds, despawn, and keep moving around the general area in the different places. And you're going to have to repeat that step. You're going to have to go back down into the flat tree, create yourself a purple grenade by throwing a red one at a blue one. When you achieve the purple grenade or green, if you have green, you then take it up to spawn and throw said grenade into the certain color double points and it will then disappear again and it respawns somewhere else. The last spawn location is going to be just outside the flat tree. It's gonna be in between the flat tree and overlook right next to electric cherry. Through the window, you can see its other location. Again, just like the others, it's gonna spawn, despawn, spawn, despawn, and change locations. You then need to collect the correct color grenade and throw it for the last time. Once you get all three magnets, depending on what your colors are, you're going to receive, wait for it, a double points. Yes, after all that work, you're going to receive a double 
points. Now it's not the biggest easter egg in the world, but it is an easter egg. It did allow us to stream and hunt and keep us engaged with the game, so it is fun nonetheless. But it is just a double point and it does kind of feel a bit like a chore having to do it just to get a double points. But I suppose if you are trying to get things done really, really early and you have the grenades, you have the time, it could come in quite handy. Now there is a problem with this Easter egg at the minute or what we believe to be a problem. The green one seems to be glitched out. It usually never connects and never makes the green magnet disappear to activate the next step. This could be user error, but we're pretty sure it's actually a glitch as of now. And there's a lot of people trying it that are having a lot of difficulty. Luckily in my stream, hence why I'm using on stream footage because we couldn't replicate it after because we kept getting the green magnet. We had three purple magnets all in all. So we were able to achieve the actual double points Easter egg itself. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Chaos Basilisk and his crew because uh, they're the ones who solved the first step by shooting the candles and it's pretty much a community effort after that to figure out you had to throw color grenades actually activate the double points easter egg itself so a big shout out to him and I will leave his youtube channel in the description and it was him and his team that actually figured it out. And that's it here mates, that's some of the last easter eggs what we believe at the minute on the Frozen Dawn to be solved. There could be one or two more, we're not sure yet. Again, we have notified Cameron Dayton and Activision about the glitch with the green double points. So if you do have any problems with this, be sure to let me know in the comments down below if it's the same for you like it was us. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, enjoy the rest of your day, it's been awesome. And uh, yeah, until the next one, it's your boy Dane.